his uh, Adam Sandler sister. Indeed. Okay, but uh, here he is. Uh, we should have him on the phone, Al Pacino. Good morning, hey. gentlemen. How we doing? I'm doing. We're doing great. How you doing this morning? Oh, I'm great. Wow. I've got a cappuccino in front of me. Feeling like the king. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, huge fan. Devil's Advocate. Uh, Heat. There's I mean, so many. My lord. What's your favorite film of yours? I mean, I, mine of yours would be Devil's Advocate. I got to nerd out a little bit with you. And before we get to the comedy show, I got to know what's your favorite movie that you've made? I have a lot of fun on Devil's Advocate. Let me just tell you that. Favorite film I ever made. That's a tough one. But a lot of great ones. Scarface. Uh, of, oh, course. of course. I don't like that one. Wow. Godfather 2. Any given Sunday. Nice. I, Always a fan of Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Wow. That I didn't is... like Scarface, if I can be honest. I, I want to be honest. I'm trying not to be. I want to be polite. but Yeah. I thought that, that, that was overrated. Some, people, some kids were dropped on their heads. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's cracking jokes. All right. Uh, I want to just see how loose Al Pacino is. But uh, no, uh, nice. overrated film, and it just promoted drug use, and I'm anti that. But I What? It was a story. A yeah, it was all about drugs. Story. story. Yeah. It was a story about one drug lord's rise and, and fall. I don't like drug lords. Oh, well, all right. Anyway, uh, we appreciate. <laughs> that was an amazing movie for its time. Uh, but you said you like Godfather 2 more than God. I like both of them, but I like them differently. What do you one think? was good because it showed the rise of Michael Corleone. The second one got a little... <clears throat> got a little, uh, a little bad. And then uh, what about part three? That just kind of... Uh, what was it really feeling it? They waved ten million dollars in my face. Oh. Said, Come back and play Michael yeah. one more time. What do I got to lose? That's true. I would have done the same exact and thing. And what about you with Jack and Jill, where you were at Adam Sandler, and a lot of people are saying, <clears throat> "Is that like, are you just running out of gigs to to do while you're doing such a? I mean, it's it's a it's a really goofy movie that you jumped on. I like to stay working. See what happened was. I met Adam one time at a backyard barbecue, Francis Ford Coppola's house. He said, got this new movie. I think you'd be great for it. Want to play the love interest of me dressed as a woman. I said, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. <laughs> wow. That's, that's all it took. <laughs> would, you be, would you be in a movie with me if I dress up as a woman? That depends. How do you look dressed as a woman? I look pretty good, I bet. You think you can rival Sandler? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm better looking than Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to have you give your number to my assistant when we're done. Wow. Jeez. Oh, Jack and Jill 2 starring Ryan Dawn and Al Pacino. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're interested, and that's all that matters. I'm intrigued. I'm He's intrigued. intrigued. Of course, of course. Right. I always love playing myself. Yeah, all yeah. right. Is that, is that harder or easier to play yourself or to play a character? I think it's harder. I spend most of my life living in the middle of a personality crisis. That's why I scream a lot. I'm not going to yell now, because it's radio. Okay. That's true. You'd blow you. out some ears. Yeah, you've always been... All the characters you play are stern-faced, strong, uh, very powerful men. Uh, one of my... Uh, I love the Ocean's Eleven, the trilogy Ocean... You were in Ocean's Thirteen, where you play um, kind of the villainous character. But uh, do, you, do you... Are you ever going to play like a... A nice, homey, kind of sweet character? Homey? What do you mean? Like like hanging out on a street corner, homie? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not ghetto. Like, no, no. Like um, uh, a more kinder, gentler kind of uh, character. Would, or or you, you're just way too good at being the, the stern-faced kind of guy. See, I've always wanted my passion project, if I may. Mm -hmm. I wrote a script years ago about a man who finds a bird with a broken wing. Who doesn't love that story? So it gets more and more intense. There's a love story involved. Finds the whole family of birds. They all have broken wings. So he's trying to mend the wing of a bird who's broken, just like the rest of his family. Wow. That's what I want to make. That's, that's, uh, what I want. that's an intense wow. film. Is that going to be an... more sensitive side of me. Is that going to be like an animated film, or are you thinking about doing this live action? I was thinking live action. It's just hard to find bird actors who can remember their lines. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and especially unless you got to find them with broken wings. 
That's the other side of it. <laughs> then you get animal cruelty charges brought up if you break the bird's wings. You can probably CGI the wings broken. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> CGI the wings. Oh, man. All right. So, I mean, this is a... You were brought in as a... So sort of like a commercial for my yeah. buddy who's putting on a comedy show at Characters in Salzburg. Okay. Yeah, since you're getting paid for this, uh, you, I guess you have to promote it now. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's pretty important. We did nerd out with business. it. I don't want to keep you guys all morning. So, tomorrow night, Slotesburg, New York, big show, characters, what's happening? Slaughter Stand Up, Summer Showdown, comes to its epic conclusion. Four finalists are going to compete. Can I read the finalist names? Sure. Go, oh, please. James Camacho, Amanda Walgrove, Joshua Kincaid, Josh Wells, all very funny people. Person hosting that show, none other than Fox 131's Ryan Dalton. There you go, the, yeah. the star of Jack and Joe, too. By Aaron McGuire, winner of last year's Summer Showdown. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and uh, we're giving away tickets, right? The, the, that was worked out? Dinner and a we're show? Away two complimentary tickets with dinner. Wow. Oof. Have I'm you ever sure had the food over there? If, What's if, that? Have you ever had the food over there? I've had the food there. Fantastic. Wow. Love it. Their chicken marsala, Irish place. Best chicken marsala I ever had in an Irish place. Wow. wow. So, I mean, this is Stant Al Pacino. He oh, loves the food. In that case. And on top of a fantastic comedy show that I will be hosting, I guess we're going to have to let Al go. It's He's a busy man. He's a busy man, but uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cross uh, Al Pacino off the bucket list of people I always wanted to talk to. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I had a great time. Hope you enjoy your day. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Pacino. Wow. Could be a friend of